By the way, guys, at the end of this video, you'll also have an opportunity to buy this lovely t-shirt what I'm wearing right now. Wouldn't that be beautiful? And also, you'll find a link at the end of the video to our Plumbing Disasters series, which is coming back for a second season really soon. I hope you enjoy the video, guys, and remember to hold tight. Hi guys, welcome to today's plumberparts.co.uk video. We're revisiting a few old subjects today, and today I'm going to show you how to fit an offset bath in the space we've got behind us here. We've got ourselves a little Aqualisa shower in already, and basically I'm just going to show you how to line up and fit the bath and get the feet on. Please remember to subscribe to our videos and follow us on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram, and Twitter. Remember, scan the code for Snapchat, and I'll see you soon. Hold tight! Plumberparts.co.uk Honest reviews and advice. So then guys, here's the bath that we're working on. I've already taken out the pack that's got all the feet on it. Usually you'll find your bath has got two big beams like this. The first thing we want to do is basically get our bath up on end and actually fix the feet to it. So let's do that quickly now. Keep all the, all the gubbins on here now while we're at it. Right, so what you want to do, you've got probably a pack, a bit like this, with loads of stuff in here. These are your feet for in a minute. Pop them out the way, just pull everything out like so. What we're looking for are these tiny little screws. We don't want too long of screws because there's a plywood base in here and that's only gonna be like eight mil, so, or probably 10 mil thick, something like that. And what we wanna do is just make sure we use the little baby screws on here so that we don't go through that base. Now, what I would recommend, there's only four feet on this. A lot of baths will have, you know, a big long foot here, big long foot here, and then one in the middle. We haven't got this on this bath. It's obviously a very well made bath. I kind of want the weight to be nice and easily distributed. I mean, it's sort of almost kind of doing it by eye. The, the thing is, you don't want to tie yourself up with this hole here, the waste outlet that we're going to be doing. So we want to just get our other bar and put that just roughly along here like so. And also, yeah, so we're just good there. That is it, perfect. If you want, you can read the instructions. This is such an easy stage in the job. We've obviously got a big chunk of glue on here. Would you want to just pull that off? One thing I would say about bars when you're doing them is a lot of the time you'll find that there's a little bit of um, a little bit of fiberglass sticking out. Oh, guys, if you get that in your finger, you ain't no pain until you're done that. I tell you, I'm going to move that down just about here. What you're going to want to do now is just make up one of your feet. I'd have these just on the inside like so, just like that. And then you're gonna get another one. I mean, every bath manufacturer is different. This is just the way I do this, okay? Um, try and have your feet as well. So they're really <laughs> kind, of, kind of quite high up because what we're gonna do, we're gonna batten our wall. Now, the idea is, once we've got our wall battens on, we, we use the height of the side panel and where the tiles are and everything to define how high we want to make the, the bath later on in the job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my other feet um, and get the other block put on down at the bottom. I'm also, if we've got one on site, I'm going to pop the waste on, but it's not especially important because guess what? The waste is right near the front side panel, okay? So we're all good for that. So what I'm going to do is get these all put together and then we're going to sit the bath up, marry the side panel up to it, and then we're going to go up into the bathroom and do our measurements before we even take the bath up there. Right, so we've got the bath down, we've got these feet on here, and we've got all the plastic, well, we've got all the protective cardboard off. The next thing you need to do is a lot of time bars will come with special little brackets that just go under here. Um, what you want to do is get them put on now, okay? So you're going to have one, there's two, usually a tiny little bit of wood. What you want to do is set the bracket back about two or three mil off the face of the actual side of the bath. Because what this is going to do is when our side panel's up, it's going to push under there and get sandwiched under there. So they usually supply all the screws with them. It's a bit of a fiddle, so I'm not going to go through it all now. I'm just going to pop them on in quickly in front of you. You don't have to watch me swearing then, do you? Already. <laughs> Why do they always send such crap screws with these? So now we've got this in here, we should. I'm just going to do a little test. Should be able to just pop a side panel. The bath's obviously way too high at the moment. I just want to try and see how this goes in. There we go. The slot's in there, lovely. So now I can put the rest of mine on and get on with that. So now we've got all these on, you should just be able to mock up the actual side panel going on the bath 
even though our bath is currently way too high. So as you can see on there, this should just push in. These can be a bit fiddly, I'll be honest with you. You just want to do one at a time, really. So we just get one in there like so, like that, and just work our way around. What we want to do is we want to measure from the bottom here to the underside of the bath. Remeasuring it, I'm just going to say 517. So that's 517 there. Make sure up this end, 518. Keep the number that you've measured there in your mind. For us today on this one here, it's 518. Right, so back up in the bathroom, what we need to do is we need to measure up our, one fi our 518, okay, or our measurement, not from the floor level, but from the finished floor level. Because what happens is when the tilers come in, they'll tile further under the bath, obviously, and you have to account for the depth of the tile and the adhesive uh, when you're putting your front panel on. Where's my pen, where's my pen, where's my pen, ping, ping. Right, so what you wanna do, firstly, get your Michael Bublé out and just make sure the floor's level, lovely. And also as a tip, just get your, get your spirit level, make sure it's obviously level, and then just run a line up like that, and then you'll know that when you're putting your, your tape up against it, you'll know that your tape's level and you're getting a really accurate reading. So, grab my tip, five, one, eight. I'm just going along my line, five, one, eight is here. Right, simple then. I take this mark here. I'm not going to draw up another mark there. I'm just going to use my spirit level. I'm just going to go around the whole of where the bath is with my spirit level, making sure that that's nice and level. We're going to draw a line all the way around. By the way, the holes you see behind us here, because when the Sparky first fixed, unfortunately put the control cables for the Aqualisa quartz in the wrong way around. Aqualisa, I would like to say, you do have a sticker on the end that says controller in. And for people who don't know, it is a little bit misleading, just so you know. <laughs> right, have a look at my bum crack. Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh, these bum cracks now. <laughs> right, now, should be able to run my tape up here. Just make sure that this measures 518. It does. Bang on. Right, easy peasy bit next. Right, I've got three battens of wood, one long and two short. Two short ones are just going to sit on here on that line like that, just sat up there. And then the long one at the back will sit along there as well. So let's just pop a couple of screws in here now. What I'm also going to do is use a little bit of glue as well, just to make sure they're glued up. I've made sure that the bit of wood I've chosen already is nice and straight as well. So. Sometimes you can get bits of batten in that's bowed. So gunk number one up. And then we're gonna marry this up. So the top of this goes to our line that we've just marked out. I'm sure you can see what I'm going with this. Same across the back bit here. And then one down at our far end as well. So now we've got all of those marked out, it might be a good idea, just go and make yourself a brew and let some of your glue go off a little bit if you put any of that on and that's great. While you're doing that, pop back downstairs and also bring up all the feet on the bath so they're at their small, so they're lowest, so the bath is low as possible. What that means is, is when we lay the bath in in a minute, the feet will just be hanging in midair, but we know that our bath's already level and then all we need to do, nice and easy, is just bring our feet down so they're just taking the weight of the bath and then we can glue our bath in and that's it, we're pretty much done. <laughs> <laughs> right, and guys, so we're just going to lift this onto our battens, which we've already made level. With any luck, look at Jamie's booty. Yeah, that should just sit on our battens. Nice and level, and that's it, done, boom. Hashtag ledge. Right, then, guys, I'm sure you've noticed how easy that was to do. Basically, just laid the bath down straight onto our battens that are already level which inherently means that if the bath has been cast properly, it means that everything you put up here is level as well. So now all I've got to do is basically at my leisure, pop my feet on and you may have noticed that we took the feet off before we put the bath on purely because it was just getting pretty difficult to actually get it up here. Um, and it was, yeah, starting to, I was starting to cry. Ah. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to, all I've got to do now, well, it's just such an easy job now. It's just, just great, you know, so good. There you go, so there's that one in there, like that. Right, and then it is totally just, just a point of making sure that these are just nipped up tight. Just give this one wind, okay? And then what you're doing, you're just taking the weight of the bath. I'm just gonna put some wider feet on here. There we go. I'm 
I'm just gonna do that all the way around now. I'll put the small camera underneath so you can watch me struggle. So there you go, we've got the bath in. We've got it all level, we've got all the feet on. These are all nipped up nice and tight. Now, there's something you can also do. You can have these side little clips that will go on the side of the bath. It's up to you if you pop them on. It depends how you want to fix your bath into the actual space. What I do now is we've got so many new glues and way to like, use good adhesives to get onto the bath. I would use a good adhesive if I was you. And for belt and braces, uh, obviously also put on your side clips as well. But just to prove that the way I've measured everything up and the way that we've done this is correct, let's go and get the side panel and pop it in. Bang on. Ooh, a little bit floppy. Meshish ploppy. So look, just push that there. That's all home under there now. There you go, just a little bit of adjusting and popping about, that's there. Most side panels will come with small shoes that you put down low, or some people batten it as well. And then, you know, you can put your battening on and then push up to that. If you want to find out how far to put your battening, all you need to do is get yourself your spirit level, dangle that down off the side of your bath, imagine this isn't here, and then make a mark as where your spirit level is there, and then go back about five mil, and then that'll be there the edge of your battening is, and you'll be fine there, and that's done. So, there we go, the bath is in. Uh, I'm gonna glue it in now. I'm just gonna run my glue in round the side there, and then it's effectively, I'm gonna have to leave it for a little while. As, as tempting as it is to uh, start playing around and getting the waste in, uh, we've got a special bath filler on this side for the actual bath itself. As tempting as it is to do all that, it's best just to wait, just to leave it, uh, let that set. So then guys, there we go, the bath is installed, we're all done, I'm really pleased. It's been done, I'm very happy. I mean, what else can I say? If you like this video, then please do subscribe. If you need any more help, we sometimes miss stuff out. It's easy to do. Please comment in the comment section below. And please do subscribe to our videos as well by clicking on the link that's appearing right now. And also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter. Until the next video, guys, remember to hold tight.